Institute of Engineering, Community, and Cultural Competence. IEC3 has the mission of bridging the gender gap in STEM with particular focus on African American and Latina girls starting in middle school. In middle school, that's where girls start making critical life decisions and they don't even know it. So we are trying to grasp them and create an interest in engineering and computer science. While they're still young, while they still can have a lifelong passion and develop that over time. My background, I'm a cultural and visual anthropologist. So my interest has always been in culture and looking at how people have cultural practices and traditions and beliefs and how those cultural beliefs can be shaped to excel in life, how they can use their experiences to excel in life. So my dissertation research was focused on high-performing African-American college students and interviewing them across the country at various universities, looking at what key features of their um, learning that they leveraged to continue to excel. So I found certain patterns, um, like they used language in certain ways, where they had social connections, and they developed um, sacred spaces where they could go and be safe to explore. Um, they all had an experience where they were Im immersed in multicultural um, learning. Um, and they also had the opportunity to, to define what I call their possible self, is their self in the future and they were able to use that as kind of a mission as a vision as it were for their future from a really young age i was exposed to a lot of different kinds of people and it developed in me a fascination because they had different cultural beliefs they talked differently they might have different religious beliefs they listened to different music and so when i started looking at in high school what i wanted to do with my life as a career anthropology seemed like the most obvious choice because you know we've all seen Indiana Jones and that and the Temple of Doom and all that and looking at artifacts and traveling to different places of the world and honestly it really intrigued me because like I said I could study this my whole life you know I could learn about people and I've always just been so fascinated so that's what led me to anthropology. I would tell uh, any young girl follow your curiosity whatever interests you whatever makes you want to know more about anything, anything that piques your interest, just keep asking good questions. Why do people talk like that? Or, or why does that building look like that? Or why does that computer program work that way? These kinds of questions will help lead you to whatever career path you ultimately choose. And I think it's really important to um, just keep asking questions and know it's okay and to go deeper and deeper in trying to find answers to things that you're interested in. And to not also be so concerned about what other people think. Because the reality is, they are not going to live your life for you. So you gotta really be strong in who you are and know that it's gonna be absolutely okay, it's gonna be great. And just keep following what interests you. For so long, there has been so much untapped potential in a lot of communities around this country. And it's I feel it's inexcusable that we just ignore all groups of our nation because they may not look the same or they may not have money or things like that. I really want to see more policies that are way more inclusive that involve women and also give women equal pay so that young girls can see it's worth it. If I go through all this trouble, it's going to be worth it. As women, we offer a new and fresh perspective to every aspect of engineering and computer science. My name is Dr. Name is Dr. Michelle Flowers Taylor, and I'm the founding, and I'm the founding director, director of IEC3 at, at USC, which stands for Institute, Institute of Engineering, Community, and Cultural Confidence.